This is one of the most lovable Lexus products for me. Facelift LS is the best restyling in the Lexus history. We have a lot of chrome and luxury, and also very new modern lines. Also aggression and sexiness is very high in this new look. This car did the most typical thing that every overweight wife does after divorce. She gets hotter, smarter, more sexier, richer and all of that only after divorce. She never does that when she has a husband because fuck him, you know, nobody cares about your husband when he's your husband. But when you're divorced, you need to snatch another husband. And the desire to snatch another husband is bigger than my desire to eat fried chicken at 2 a.m. This magnificent facelift was made by 1000 Lexus engineers and 3000 details were changed. And these 1000 engineers did very good job. This is the second facelift of this Lexus LS XF40. The first one was in 2009 and I have no idea what are the difference between 2007 and 2009 facelift. If you know, let me know in the comments. Design of the facelift is simply nice. But these looks are good only in one color and it is black. For me, any LS in white is not a good color for this car. Even the first gen LSs in white, they look cheap and too much like a Toyota. Any Lexus, black Lexus LS is like a Zegna suit that must be black. Any other color is not for the LS. If you see this car in black color in your driveway, you will be excited and a little bit scared. If the same car will appear in white color, no one will take this car seriously. In general, facelift is beautiful, but you need the right color. I have strong opinion that Mercedes W221, BMW E65 and Lexus XF40 had the best facelift in the car industry. And it was a great time for car manufacturers, just very good era of wonderful sport cars, luxury cars and four-door sedans and even SUVs. New fresh look is very appealing for my eyes. Even today it has modern style and competes with modern ugly cars. It appearance in general makes you want this car as bad as corrupt politician want his bribe to keep up with his erectile dysfunction because he needs Viagra. This vehicle covers all my needs and wants. If I need nice, reliable, reasonably priced luxury car, I would buy this LX. Of course, I would consider W221 if I had extra cash for maintenance, but if I don't have extra cash, I would buy this Lexus. LS is much more reliable than W221 and BMW E65 and cheaper to maintain. It is a little bit less exciting, just a little little tiny bit less exciting than W221, but it's much cheaper to maintain. Every time I look at the car I'm very fascinated and I adore the process on how it enters the corners and hugs the road with its presence. It reminds me of beautiful educated girl with burning dark hair and dark eyes. And she wears a black dress and at the same time she's very shy, very loyal, a virgin and untouched by any man. Only wind gave her love and care and nothing else in the world. And you enjoy looking in her eyes and just standing near her. This is the vibe that I get from this wonderful little bit gangster vehicle. Interior is a huge improvement over the last year. It is just a facelift but it looks very modern and very beautiful. At last we have something closer to the Germans, to BMW and Mercedes interiors. Everything here is surrounded by buttons, you feel more quality, it's more interesting to look at. The color of interior is very eye relaxing, you feel more luxurious here than in the previous one. Previous was a little bit uh, boring, little bit, not much. Steering wheel is simple to use and at the same time it's very pleasant to use. We have ventilated seats and heated seats, also seats in general are more comfortable than being an infant in your mother's hands. You can squash your front passengers with these wonderful buttons and uh, some say that infotainment system is more practical in facelift version but unfortunately for me it is uh, as complicated as my wife's personalities and it's still not very practical for me. Speedo on the other hand is very simple and warm for my soul. It reminds me of good old times when engines were big and thirsty and I love every centimeter of the Speedo. It's simple, it's nice to look at and uh, you know it's very warm for me. For back passengers we have huge variety of buttons and a lot of very good entertainment to keep you busy on long roads. We have super ninja tables that fold like minigun in Nick Fury's Tahoe. Also Blu-ray player. Who remembers Blu-ray? Like that's biggest scam in entertainment industry. It's just the 
top the most pointless technology that ever came out also you can connect your ps3 and ps4 and play with your friends or uh, alone because it gets lonely on top and if you both discard then you're on top but it's very interesting here you want to touch everything play with everything maybe half of it will not work or maybe it will work but uh, in our car everything works perfectly i smelled and touched and groped everything in this interior and i was very satisfied under the hood we have 4.6 liter naturally aspirated v8 it develops 375 quiet very quiet brake horsepower and 493 newton meters of torque together with bulletproof 8 speed gearbox 0 200 will happen in 5.7 seconds engine and transmission with the right maintenance are immortal i have no idea what is wrong with this car i have i never heard anything wrong about this vehicle uh, any complaints at all from my friends who owned it it's just a perfect car usually i do research and with this research i find something wrong with the cars or i call my friends who have them and they tell me what problems they have but in this case nothing nothing was found with this particular facelift version if you have any information about the facelift problems let me know in the comments the only thing that i could find is that uh, the interior gets squishy and in our car also the interior is not quiet you can hear some rattles and squeaks when you drive it but it's not fatal you know you can, it can be easily fixed with just lubrication and some tightening that's it facelift version has more body parts that were welded by laser welding it means that car is much more stiffer and faster in corners this beautiful body that was welded by lasers is playing with this wonderful sunset like my ex-girlfriend playing with my addiction of her toxic personality and her hot looks i still miss her very much it is very beautiful desirable and unfortunately very rare in our days this wonderful shot will be in my head for many many years and i'm very glad that i drove this car and made the review on this particular vehicle well driving ls in this generation with the air suspension first thing that will come to your mind is why air suspension is not broken because BMW and uh, Mercedes in the same generation, 7 Series and S-Class, their suspension are flat as a, uh, I don't know, how to, as a Italian pizza. Yeah, so basically car is laying there, that's it. But this one, it's, it's, it's like a brand new air suspension. And I'm just shocked how, how it works like that. Why, why is it so soft? why it's still working in Uzbekistan with 150,000 kilometers like new. Nothing else here, like it's just, it just amazes me. The air suspension is a big surprise in this car. First of all, when you drive it, you do feel uh, like this car is a huge ship. There is, even in the sport mode, even when you drive it aggressively, there is no um, balance, there is no, the car does not, uh, feel you know like in shape to give you the best cornering feeling in the world like s-class or like bmw does but it gives you reliability and that comfort and really the button the sport button is not really so nice here in my opinion because first of all yes the engine response is a little bit better the sound is a little bit better the gear changes are a little bit better but overall doesn't matter you don't want to push it and the fuel consumption just increases skyrocket so i would not touch the sport button i just drive it in comfort enjoy the car that's it what i really love is the interior that they made this car more cocooned more mm, lovable inside uh there is no such an empty feel like in the previous lexus the previous lexus had very big space inside and uh, you were a little bit confused of, like you know felt lost a little bit but here they perfected it what i like about this car is there's heavy traffic there uh, i need to do the you know like the roundabout i need to drive it around the showroom and i don't care about the heavy traffic i just don't don't care about it when you drive this car like you floor it i'm flooring it right now in comfort 
it didn't kick back it even didn't kick back in the comfort mode in sport mode there's a russian version of it really not much change it screams at you and uh, just that's it I, I you don't want to put it in the sport mode really inside you just feel like that i don't want that even if you're in a hurry you just like ah they can wait anything that will happen when you're in a hurry it can wait this is the feeling you have what i love about this car also is long road trips that it will eat thousands and thousands of kilometers without any problems the long family trips there's a dvd player you put your two children at the back your wonderful wife in the front and everybody will enjoy the journey also uh, you can enjoy the journey with your mistress she can go in the back lay there sleep there everything is wonderful also you know you will enjoy it so this car is like a swiss army knife only if you have four uh four members in your family and a mistress that's it everybody will enjoy this vehicle and the good thing about this car also is that you know it's reliable you don't really worry about anything it, it will give you the best sleep or all the used luxury cars on the market when you buy any other luxury car in the market uh, you will not sleep so good you will be worrying about what will happen tomorrow when i wake up and start my uh, germans then um, how much this will cost me the new issue that it will have but this one you're not even worried about even if something breaks really you're not in a rush to fix it because it will drive and drive and drive until the end of the time like this is basically the old-fashioned Toyota not the new turbocharged stuff that they have right now really for me this is the last luxury sedan that is actually reliable actually usable um, not shaking you down for maintenance cost every month every month you will spend on it yes there is a difference in the quality of the leather the germans have much better leather than this one does but that's it the owner like i said before he changed the leather and that's it you know he's very happy i'm very happy everybody's very happy so just you know he spent a few thousand dollars on the leather but now it's indestructible it's very thick and uh, it smells nice also thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what do you think about this wonderful vehicle would you buy one what is your opinion about this car uh, also please subscribe to my channel um, so it will help me on my journey to buy the mercedes w140 and make a huge video about it and a lot of content in the future about this car and uh, yeah that's it thank you so much take care and bye bye